Across the country, a growing crisis. Hi, I was wondering if I could sign up for a primary care physician. People are struggling to find a primary care doctor. It's disheartening. In Los Angeles, Max Tompkins has been looking for a year, and he's not alone. The Health Resources and Services Administration saying the nation is more than 17,000 primary care physicians short. The number projected to grow up to 48,000 by 2034. So, Max, you're 23 years old. Why is it important for you to establish that health care now? I want to be the healthiest version of me that I can be. He doesn't have a car, so he needs a doctor that's close. Thank you so much for your time. But no luck. In Vermont, Britt Williams endures long COVID symptoms. She tweeted about them. They include getting sick often, memory loss, and general exhaustion. She can't find a primary care doctor. I have expended countless hours and lots of energy. An asthma condition makes her breathing problems even worse. She spent months suffering, unable to get the care she needed. I find that in healthcare, if we are reactive instead of proactive, the, that's often the difference between life and death. A rabies scare even forcing her to the emergency room, putting a strain on her health and her pocketbook. I have a $1,100 medical bill that I have to pay, which for many Americans would be way out of reach and something that they're not able to take care of. PCP's primary care physicians are a person's first call when they get sick. But the AAMC says there's a severe shortage in America, making them the hardest doctors to find. Inside urgent care facilities, more and more patients are coming in because they can't get an appointment with a PCP. There are longer term issues probably not getting dealt with. No state is meeting the primary care need. The hardest hit rural and minority areas. It's inequitable. It's unfair. It's unjust. A growing and aging population is surging demand, and doctors are retiring, some early because of pandemic burnout. How dire is it? It's a very scary human story, and, and we are very concerned about it. A study in family medicine found most med school graduates don't become primary care physicians, opting for higher paying specialties instead. Dr. Enrique Gonzalez is a PCP. At his practice, the demand is overwhelming. We're all day. All day. You know, patients, okay. yeah. But he can't find more PCPs to hire. It's a paradox because on one hand, there's a great need, but on the other hand, the, the availability is not there. In 2015, he decided to only see older patients to improve quality of care. Why is primary care so important? It's the first line of, of defense. So primary care physicians can save lives. Yes, yes. The AAMC is hoping to increase financial incentives for PCPs. I definitely think that we are continuing to look at uh, first generation medical students and looking at, you know, low cost loan programs, scholarship programs and other things. Primary care providers are getting a little bit more reimbursement than they were. And as for Max, he's still waiting. I'm leaving a voicemail to see if I can sign up for a primary care physician. Hoping one day he will find a doctor. Nyella joins us now live. Nyella, what is the federal government doing, if anything, to address this problem? Savannah, there are a record number of med school students, but not enough training programs for all of them once they graduate. That training is required for them to practice. Last year, Congress funded a thousand new residency training programs over the course of five years. But the AAMC says the country needs 14 times that amount. And even with that increase, there's still the issue of most med school graduates not entering primary care. So that still needs to be addressed, too. Savannah? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.